Investigators say the incident started when Hemsley got into an argument between several members of his own family. He allegedly shot and killed his cousin after getting upset with him during a round of play fighting. Hemsley then turned the gun on the other two women, leaving them with critical injuries. Police say he ran off, but they were able to track him down at a bus stop near Nelson Twain. Hemsley now facing charges of open murder and two counts of attempted murder. And with that shooting last night and other security scares along the strip in recent weeks, some are wondering if enough is being done to keep people safe on the strip. We've got several hundred thousand people down there on a busy weekend. That's where we find Brett Forrest live. And Brett, you asked that very question of the experts. How are safety and security on the strip now? Yeah, Jim Marie, good evening. I spoke to Clark County Commissioner Tick Sagerbloom in a private security firm today. And despite some recent high profile incidents like the shooting at the Mirage Hotel or the recent mass panic triggered by a rock breaking a glass door at the MGM Grand, they tell me that the strip is still safe. If you just look at the absolute numbers, uh, things are much better uh, on the strip than they, have, they were coming out of COVID. Um, so we just got to keep reinforcing that message and, and telling people that, you know, there may be isolated incidents or, or rocks or whatever, but at the end of the day, the number of shootings and the number of, of, of things like that are, are way down. Jonathan Alvarez with Protective Force International says everything that happened at the Mirage last night in terms of the response was successful. Police were there minute, one minute after getting the call. Security kept most casino guests calm and the suspect was identified and arrested within six hours. Alvarez said they could always train more people for hotel security, but says the strip corridor is much better off than it was five to ten years ago with partners sharing information and training together. I think training is probably one of the most important aspects that uh, the entire strip is, is kind of uh, elevating now. Uh, the police force is incorporated with a lot of what the security force on the strip does, so it's a beautiful partnership. So according to data from the Las Vegas Metro Police at the Convention Center, Center Area Command, homicides are down year to year 50%. So regardless with all these incidents happening, will casinos start to consider things like metal detectors, like what we're seeing on the Fremont Street experience? Well, the security firm tells me he doesn't think it's necessary. Hi everybody, I'm Reed Cowan from News 3 Las Vegas. We want to thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. Remember, you can always see more of our videos by clicking on the video links. And also don't forget, to click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of our YouTube updates. Thanks for watching.